Hi, my name is Greg Suddy. This is Suddy on Soccer. I am here with Jacques Laudisseur. Awesome. We are talking about his new book, Raising a Professional Athlete. And what to, we're going to talk about today is school in general, but we're going to sort of take that into pieces and look at the different aspects of how a kid learning and going to school is uh, benefited as he grows up. And let's talk about the learning aspect of a kid going to school. Well, school is, school is to me, has always been about learning. Yeah. Um, it's not just about the books. It's about learning. Because what I, a lot of times what I do with my kids, the ones that I coach, I ask them. I, I say to them, okay, well, you went to school today. What did you learn? Interesting. Tell me one thing that you learned today. Sure. And some people would say, well, you know, I learned, uh, I learned how to do math today. I learned subtraction, division, and all that kind of stuff. And other people would say, I didn't learn anything. Right. And I always ask them, man, you went to school all day long and you didn't learn anything today? Oh, right. Wow. I mean, how can you do that? Right. So school is about learning. The grades are important for sure, right. but there's, there's people that get good grades in, but they don't learn. Gotcha. Okay. So there's a lot of things to be learning, right? It's not just like you say, it's not just the books. Nope. It's not just the books. There's all kinds of things you're starting to pick up as a kid coming into that environment for the first time, uh, interacting with other kids, learning from the, how to, how to deal with a coach, so to speak, your teacher, teacher, your taking, first coach, yeah. taking direction, Correct. you know, that whole thing, learning to get up on time. Uh, learning to do your homework at a certain time. Uh, talk about some of these. Well, for sure. You know, your teacher is your first coach. And if you see kids have problems with their teachers, a lot of times they'll have problems with their coach. Uh, yeah. Because they have problems taking direction, listening. Uh, listening, I mean, is an art. Absolutely. Right? You, you do have to learn to listen for sure. Absolutely. And when people are not doing that to the teachers, chances are they'll do the same thing with the coach. And that that's going to affect okay. their athletic career for sure. Okay. And then talk a little bit about the interaction with other kids. Well, with other kids, you have a wealth of knowledge there from other kids. Now, um, obviously, you have to become people skills are very important. Yeah, people skills are very important in anything you do, but especially for an athlete. Right. And you learn you learn who to trust. You know who you hang around with, who has the same goals as you, who wow. doesn't have the same goals. Yeah, those kind of things are very important as far as how successful you're going to be as an athlete. So you're actually starting to to establish your social circles. Correct. Um, also, working in groups, maybe working in groups is very important. Uh, one of the things that uh, obviously on the field, you have a team, you work together as a team. Right. When you work in a group, everybody does a little piece. Everybody does a part. Interesting. And then you bring the whole part together. That becomes a whole puzzle. Just and that's like what on makes a team. it all works. Just like on a team. Right. Uh, and then those things are easily transferable into later on in life. Correct. And how that plays out into an athletic career. That's very true. And Jacques, another really important part of this whole conversation is the kid needs to learn how to manage their time. Correct. And time management is so important at this level of, it, of learning to get it right and, and the importance of it. Talk a little bit about time management. Oh, absolutely. Time management plays a big role into, into sports. For example, I'll give you a perfect example when it comes to training. So over the summer, I had to learn to manage my time when to train. Okay. So I, found, I figured out that six o'clock in the morning is a good time to start the first training so I can have a whole uh, quite a bit of hours, several hours, five, six, seven hours of rest. Gotcha. Time to eat and all that kind of stuff. Right. So that way I can go ahead at five o'clock in the afternoon, train again. Okay. So I can maximize my training right. by managing my time. And, and the concept of time management starts very early. I mean, Correct. In, in, not just in the, the life of the kid when they start going to school, but also in the day of that school day. Correct. I mean, it's, it's early in the day. And I mean, look, when the, we're talking to parents and we say time management, you guys get it. The term is going to go over the kids' head. It will. It will. Okay. They don't understand it for sure. But the concept won't. Right. They'll, they'll get it as it's being presented to them and the importance of why I have to get up at this hour in order right. to be ready at this time to do this thing. And it's, it's such a crucial part of growing up and it isn't identified. No, it, it, it's not. It, it's it's not identified and it's not presented to the kids in a certain way that right. they can understand it, they can grasp it. Right. Because it's the training part is important, but when you start that in school, you go to school. That's the physical part that you do. You're there all the time. Right. And then after that, you have homework. You gotta you gotta manage your time to figure out how long is it gonna take me, how much homework do I have today, how long is it gonna be, when when am I gonna do it. Yeah. Right? So all those things become very, very important. And so the parent is really playing an important role here because I know, I remember for myself in school, um, the beginning of the day I managed pretty well, but the end of the day when I had homework to do, 
I often found myself crunching late in the evening because I didn't start at the right time yeah. or give myself yeah. enough time. Yeah. Well, sometimes that <laughs> we last time we talked about nutrition, right? Yeah. yeah. So sometimes that has a lot to do with nutrition, the fatigue. Because uh -huh. when you step up at the end of the day, you start getting tired, you start getting a little weary. And obviously that affects, you know, how you manage your time and how you feel and what you do. Yeah. So the importance of time management for parents is just, I mean, one of the more important aspects of this entire conversation. Yeah, it, it is. It is because as an athlete, well, when you become a professional athlete, you're going to have a lot of downtime. Downtime means travel time when you're traveling, when you're doing different things. So when I'm traveling on an airplane, I can't train. I can't do anything. Right. So that's when I, I manage my time. I bring books and I bring articles, things that are, that are of my interest that I can read, that I can expand my knowledge in different areas. And that ties right into the earlier part of our conversation. Correct. Learning. So one really important part of this also in school, kids are for the first time brought into this social environment. Correct. And that social environment is, I mean, it's beneficial on learning how to play off to the people that are beneficial in your life. Correct. Not so beneficial in your life. Not Correct. necessarily bad kids. No. But just not in the same direction, goal set, that kind of thing. Right. They have talk, different goals. Talk a little bit about the social environment. Oh, the social environment is huge. I mean, you have all these kids. What, what it is basically, it's you can look at it as as a research project. Interesting. When you show up, when you show up to school, you have tons of kids. There are very smart kids, intelligent kids there. Right. There's a lot of kids you can learn a lot of things from. Right. So you can't you can't really just avoid that because school is not the books alone are not the the, the education you're going to get. That's right. So these kids socially, you're learning how to deal with people. You're learning. You're getting more people skills. You're learning how you're learning how some of the people you like, some of the people you don't like, mm -hmm. uh, how to treat people and all wow. those kind of things. They're all right there and they're right there in front of you. Yeah. And a lot of people don't understand because they just figure school is a place where I go and I get book knowledge. So, I mean, as a, as a toddler, as a little kid before school, those ages, I mean, there's social interaction like right. the playground and stuff yeah, like that. The fights. But, <laughs> right. But there's but, but there's not they've never encountered anything like being in this enclosed environment with this set group of kids yep. over a long and extended over period, long period of, time. of time. Correct. And it's the same group of kids. Yep. So they get a chance to not only engage those children on the larger social level, but also on the group level when they're asked to do certain specific assignments Correct. as small groups. Well, when there's a lot of that, right? They, they, you get a group of kids to do a project. And yeah. each one of them do a certain part. And, and that's the beginning of teamwork. Interesting. Because each yeah. one of them do a certain part for the whole team. Right. Because on a team, on a really good team, you have people that play different roles. That's right. And that's what happens when you have people that do their roles very, very well. Then, of course, the team is successful. When people don't do their roles or they try to do something completely different, then the team is unsuccessful. So you've talked about, you know, parents getting ahead of the game. Correct. Um, and bringing all of this to their attention. I mean, the kid's involved in it and he's going through it and it's sort of you know, by design. Correct. But the parent being cognizant of these things happening right. can really force the, the, the kid into a better mindset, environment, way of thinking, um, importance in the moment. Talk a little bit about the parent's role in this. Sure, uh, directing the kids, guiding. Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of just steering steering the boat, right? Just getting it to go in the right direction. Although the the people on the boat they don't understand necessarily, right? Yeah. But you're doing it right, and that's what the parent's job is. Right. And that's why it's so important for them to get ahead of the game. Right. So important for them to understand. Okay, so I'm helping this person uh, who says they want to be a professional athlete. Right. So I have to learn to guide them. And I mean, the, the first thing that came to my mind is, um, you know, you don't, dad doesn't need to sit down and explain this to the no, seven year old. No, he just no. needs to be aware of his role in letting this happen in the best way possible. Correct. He just needs to lead. That's awesome. You know, that's the whole thing about this, about what we're trying to do is to teach the parent how to lead the kids in the proper direction uh, to reach their goals. So what about when, so I don't know, you, I mean, you would know better than I, but what the six, seven, eight-year-olds, when they first start taking on an athletic interest, uh, how do these early social skills play into that environment? Well, it's 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 big, you know. Um, the early social skills really teach you how to get along with people. That's right. a big thing because when you're playing when you're playing professionally, getting along with people is very important. Right. Uh, those relationships, you know, knowing knowing different types of people, what they like, what they don't like, is so important. Jacques Ladisseur, thank you so much for joining me today. 
This has been a great conversation. Awesome. I appreciate this. Uh, raising a professional athlete. We've got more to come. Thank you for watching. It's been great sharing with you today. This has been a passion of mine for such a long time. You can contact me in the email below and also purchase the books in the links below.